Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and lead their offenses on the gridiron today. It's Smith's Chiefs going up against Carr's Raiders. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. It's a day, Larry, that fans in these parts will need to savor as we come to you from the East Bay and Oakland, California. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The folks around the stadium clad in silver and black going to make every last game played in Oakland count. They're ready to go as their Raiders get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Bitter rivals going back to their AFL days in the 1960s. The Chiefs and Raiders are underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Oakland Raiders coming off a loss in week five to Baltimore, led onto the field by Derek Carr, and they're hoping when they take the field in week six, it will be Derek Carr. They're hopeful that he's going to return and take that seat back from E.J. Manuel. And why? Because when he was playing, they were rolling. 2-0 and this year. Remember last season when he got hurt down the stretch? They were already pretty much a playoff team, but couldn't advance as deep in the playoffs as they expected because he wasn't around. He means everything to that offense. They need him back on the field. Car now on first down. And incomplete to open things up. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. A look now at the Oakland offense. One of the things I like to do when I'm scouting players is talk to those who knew him before. And I ended up finding out that Amari Cooper has been like a professional route runner since the time he was six or seven years old. Has always taken the game seriously. Has always worked on his craft. And you see evidence of that each and every week on an NFL field. Couple that with his athletic ability. That's one big reason he's finding himself open in the NFL. Try it again on second down. It's caught by Clive Walford. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opened things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. A first carry now from Arshon Lynch. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And a glance now at the Chiefs' defense. Ranking 24th overall in total defense is not something that excites Kansas City, but they offset that in a big way in 2016. They forced 33 turnovers, which led the league by three, and ended up plus 16 in turnover margin, which tied for first in the NFL, which helped lead them to a playoff run. So we've got a second and five. to throw and the Chiefs are going to get him Justin Houston coming in from that outside linebacker spot to bury him for a loss of seven that's something you see a whole lot of a sack of Derek Carr and doing large part to a good O-line Carr was sacked on less than three percent of his dropbacks last year lowest in the league Oakland knew it was important to take care of their quarterback they picked up Donald Penn 
Kelechi Osemele, and Rodney Hudson in recent years, and it's paid off. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Throwing his car on third down. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Six-year man Marquette King on to punt. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Time for us to watch this exciting Kansas City offense led by Alex Smith. 5-0 this crew is, and Alex Smith, 11 touchdowns, no interceptions. Other than that, he's not doing much. <laughs> yeah, how about the ball game against Houston, right? Over 300 yards, three touchdowns, second time this year. 11-year career, he'd only done that twice coming into this season. But let's be honest about it. He's not just checking it down and playing it safe. Alex Smith is taking shots downfield and making defenses pay. No more confident quarterback in the league than Alex Smith right now. They go play action here on first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it a second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Play action. It's Smith. Caught Kelsey. Left side. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. The Kansas City first. Smith finding his fellow pro bowler, Kelsey. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll run it now. This is Chuck Hendrick West. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. And quickly now, a look at the Kansas City offense. They ranked 20th overall in total offense in 2016, but when I look at Kansas City's offense, I see much better than that. Wide receivers who are fast and skillful downfield, running backs who make people miss and get the ball into the end zone, a tight end who's a game-breaker down the middle. I think this team is way better than the numbers suggest. the ground it's West again and he'll get this one up to about the 39 here give him four on the carry and it'll make this a third and about two quickly now the starting 11 for the Oakland defense well sometimes the numbers really don't tell the full picture because Oakland was 26 in Delta defense in 2016 but guess what they were tied for first in turnover margin at plus 16 with Kansas City that makes up for a lot of other issues when you're able to take the ball away. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Trying to run the option right side, Smith. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Give him four yards as he does it himself, and it's a first down. 
Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Smith turns and gives to West. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action hit them over the top. First carry for the former Clemson Tiger, C.J. Spiller. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Again on the ground, again it's Spiller. And they'll stop him right on the midfield stripe. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Now that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Back deep for the Raiders, Jalen Richard. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game All right, in baseball. I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to air one out. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. First down, the run with Lynch. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. No surprise watching Marshawn Lynch scatter bodies as he runs, but I remember doing games of his at Cal. And I remember the moves, the jump cuts, the elusiveness, as well as the strength. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Shotgun now for Carr. Roberts with it over the middle. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. And now the offense operates in the red zone. Working from the gun, it's Carr. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Throwing on second down. So oh, it stays up. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that'll make it third and goal. Now from back at the five, this is third and goal. From the gun, it's Carr. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Michael Crabtree, a five-yard touchdown. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower. Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. That time, a six-play drive, and it winds up in six points for the Raiders. to kick is Janikowski. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina had a 20-play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes and remember how it ended? In a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. And this one may be not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him.
They'll run it now out of the gun. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll run again here with West. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They wanted it every position, and we just saw there some linebackers didn't go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Throwing on third down, Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. Derek Carr getting ready to go again on offense. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. Car to throw after the play fake to Lynch. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. That one goes for 24 yards. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Now Carr. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. And now it's second down. But not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Second down, Lynch. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter down. 7 nothing is our score. And we're back to Oakland after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. Complete. 
Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. It came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. So second and ten here. To throw again. Carr. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Chris Jones in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And I know it seems like we say this a lot in broadcast booths, but a quarterback can hold on to the football too long in these situations. I think he did right there. Oh, I agree with you totally. Sometimes you have to understand situations. Get rid of the football, save some yardage to make it less to gain for the next down. Instead, he was so hipped on ball security, he held on to it and took a big sack. And the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Operating from the gun, Carr. And he finds Cook. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. He'll go down. They got him for a sack. Chris Jones in there to get him for his second sack of the night. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Take it down inside the 10. He picks up seven yards there, but they're still faced with a difficult third and goal here. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, yeah, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. To throw its car. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Benny Logan able to get him down behind the line of scrimmage, and it'll be fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So on fourth down, off goes Carr, and on is Sebastian Janikowski. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Sebastian Janikowski has fashioned quite a career. I wonder if he's just a little bit jealous, though, because Adam Vinatieri leads him in just about every category. That's the only guy ahead of him. Yeah, he's second in points, field goals made, extra points made, you name it. But he still had a heck of a career. A monster career, an incredible leg.
Now after the made field goal, here's Sebastian Janikowski to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And out come the Chiefs now. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? This one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. To throw on second down is Smith. And Hill with it over the middle. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Neutral zone infraction, defense. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Looking sideline incomplete. And fans, a quick reminder from the NFL after nearly a decade of working together in the fight against breast cancer. This year, the NFL and the American Cancer Society, they're broadening the scope of their efforts to tackle multiple types of cancer. And you can learn more about the expanded Crucial Catch initiative and access the Defender, a new digital tool that provides personalized tips on reducing your cancer risk at NFL.com slash Crucial Catch. Now the ball comes loose. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Here's West. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He 
He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And now Derek Carr, he is the focus of our player's spotlight. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. They start the drive with Lynch, and he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, add that play to his resume reel, because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. Again, they'll pound it with Lynch. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. The Raiders on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Here we go. Operating from the gun. Carr. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll bring up fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Here's Marquette King now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Now, Sharkandrick West heading back onto the field. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you get a chance to come back to it when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. There's still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. They start on the ground with West. Had a great move on the play as he takes this one past the 25. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Second down, here's Smith. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Does just love advanced stats. For Alex Smith last season, 2.38 seconds from the snap to the ball was out of his hand. He's Fast, quick. Fastest of any quarterback in the league. Another instance right there. Now 
West. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Cleo Mack's starting to get a really big-time reputation as a pass rusher, and rightly so. So explosive off the edge getting to the quarterback. But he doesn't neglect his run duties as well. How about that tackle right there? Such a package he has, able to play the run and the pass so well. Spiller. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and they're going to have a third down. It seemed like the situation was second and a mile to go for a first down, which screams what? Throw the football. You got to pass in order to try to pick up that kind of yardage. But in this case, they ran a tendency breaker because the tendency is for defenses to be out there and be set up for a pass. So you break tendency and actually run the football. That changes everything because if you're able to find a crease, you often have bigger guys working against smaller guys downfield. They picked up excellent yardage there to bring up a third down. And it's complete to Kelsey. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. They'll run it with West. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. A gain of three, second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Here's Smith now on second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Here's Smith. On third down. And now the ball's loose. Smith loses it. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Oakland after this. When halftime rolls around in just a bit, we'll send you to Orlando. You will hear the dulcet tones of Mr. Larry Ridley with our EA Sports halftime report. Does dulcet mean good? Yeah, it's just something that broadcasters say. It's got to be good, right? It's got to be you good. You tell me. Well, it's got to be good if Larry's doing it. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And the good news, his team's winning. The bad news, he hasn't had the game that he's hoped to, at least to this point here in the second quarter. 
and a lot of that is pride because these types of bats want to be in the center of all the action and leading their team to victory. They'll take the win right now, hoping to jump his game up as this one moves on. Yeah, he probably wants a little bit more of the spotlight going forward. They'll start on the ground with Lynch. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. On second down, here's Carr. Caught left side to Crabtree. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Carr to Crabtree, good for a Raider first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. From the gun, Carr. And his throw here is incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. The Raiders on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and four. Again, it's Carr. And he'll have his man, that's Cooper. And now before this first down play, we're gonna get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Accepted. Picked off at the 25, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. Now, Sharkandrick West heading back onto the field. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. 
Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. We'll see if he can look and do some soul searching now. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. The drive begins with a handoff to West. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. shot here before break Smith looking middle and it's incomplete so we've reached halftime here in Oakland with the Raiders on top as we send you cross country to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando with our halftime report here's Larry Ridley thanks Brandon and welcome to the EA halftime report I'm Larry Ridley let's take a look back at the first half the Raiders are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Chiefs just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. All right, let's do this. Here's the first half highlights. Sticking with the same drive. Carr has got the completion here, and this five-play drive goes for a touchdown as they take a 7-0 lead. Raiders have it early in the second. Jones is going to push his way to the QB here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. Raiders later on the drive. Jones is going to take down the QB here. This will go for a loss of seven. Tips for us at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back now to Oakland for the start of the second half. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. This is West. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. Looking to throw on second down. And down he goes. 
brought down a Raiders sack. Mario Edwards in there to sack him for a loss of six. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. So the sack of Smith, and now the Chiefs coming up facing third and long. Out of the gun, Smith. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Bruce Irvin, he's the one to get him this time. And back-to-back -back sacks are going to bring up a fourth down. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out of there. And he'll take it just outside the 40. We'll call that a 49-yard punt, but a net of just 39 following the 10-yard return. And the Raiders will have a short field to work with as they take over. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We got the, de we got the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. A Raider first down, 17 yards. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They run again on first down Lynch. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A Raider first down, 17 yards. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. In the red zone this time. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage looked defensively. Now a handoff here to his running back. 
And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. First and goal here from the two. for it with Lynch. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. They come out here in the eye. They try again with Lynch. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. This offense so far on third down, they've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and goal. Operating from the gun, Carr. And this is Carr. Touchdown, Raiders. Jared Cook, a five-yard touchdown. And the Raiders add six to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Janikowski on for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that drives seven plays in length, and it ends with an Oakland touchdown. to kick is Janikowski. Fielded about a yard deep. Gets past one man. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now a handoff looking right. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Looking to throw on second down. Smith. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. 
and trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. So here we go, first and 10 now. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And some options here for the offense on second and two. They'll run it now out of the gun. He spins free. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. here on first down. And the Raiders have got him. Mario Edwards in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Play action. Here's Smith. And his throw is incomplete. Demetrius Harris, the intended target. And it's third down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and forever. A shotgun snap for Smith. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 48 yards. And the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And it's 17-7. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. 
That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Raiders' offense now, they trot back out. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Play fake here on first down. Going for the deep ball. And got his man complete. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. So the offense lining up first and 10. Snap comes at one, and it's Carr. Throwing over the middle. It's incomplete. The big tight end, Clive Walford, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Carr gives to Marshawn. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Raiders on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and eight. Throwing his car on third down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Handoff comes to Lynch, and they'll get him down right about the 20. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, Guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers. Just... Lynch fighting, and he lost the football. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The Raiders on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and 14. Shotgun now for Carr. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. 
So on fourth down, off goes Carr, and on is Sebastian Janikowski. He hit his first. Now this from 43. And Janikowski bangs it through. And that will open the lead up now to 20 to 7. So it goes down as an eight-play drive, and they cap it with the field goal. Yeah, they were able to pick up a few first downs along the way, but they couldn't keep the momentum going all the way into the end zone. After the made field goal, here's Sebastian Janikowski to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And to give this time to the tailback. Gets it up around the 22, but no further. Did flash the fancy footwork, but not much to show for it. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Eight yards to go here on second down. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. The Chiefs on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. Paul Start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. And with that penalty, the offense in a tough spot here, third and 13. Smith. And that is incomplete. And no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, standing just outside his own goal line. Fielded just inside the 30. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Derek Carr getting set and ready to go again on offense here. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your quarter? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. 
Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? That's what he's done here in this one so far. And complete right side to Cook. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down, and they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in the East Bay. It's the Raiders with the lead and the football here as we get ready to start quarter number four. Now it's second and seven. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now Carr throwing on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player? Not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. Third down, Carr, and he's taken down, a cheap sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it, this offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Marquette King now, as he's on to punt for Oakland. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. First down, it's Smith. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. That throw good for four. It's second down. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Smith to throw on second down. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Mario Edwards in there to get him again. The third time he sacked him here tonight. My oh man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. So the sack of Smith, and now the Chiefs coming up facing third and long. From the gun, here's Smith. And this is going to be incomplete.
Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. yards on the punt and that will come the offense as they take over and now here come the Raiders they're out in front last time they had to punt it away we'll see if they can add to their lead now they don't want to go out and, and punt it away again this team now wants to get a cushion put people away they want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone having a first down as well. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? First seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They'll keep pounding here with Ledge. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner, 100 yards or more in a game. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. On the handoff, Ledge. And an alley to run. Still fighting. 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Marshawn Lynch, 50 yards. And the Raiders add on to their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. And they will line up now for the two-point try. They're going to try and run. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Well, partner, since this new two-point rule came into play, offenses spend a lot more time working on it. That means the defenses are doing the exact same thing. to kick is Janikowski. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a big hit at the end of that one. 
He's knocked down hard. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. The defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. Smith on first down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He was looking for his running back, Charkandrick West. And it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Second down following the incompletion. Now Smith to throw again. Caught Kelsey, left side. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and seven. Throwing on third down, Smith. And that is incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. To the sideline, and he's got it. They say the feet are down. Yes, the line judge says they're in. That'll be a first down. Give them eight on the game there, and the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. So that'll back him up five. First and 15 here behind the chains. They'll run it now out of the gun. And three yards there takes him to the 45. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On second down, here's Smith trying to find his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 49, and they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And now Oakland ready to take the field.
And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here's a give to Lynch. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Second down following the run. They'll run again with Lynch. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Car fighting Patterson there for a Raider first. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. the give this is Lynch and he'll be brought down oh that's a face mask certainly looked like it indeed here come the flags Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. they're down here in the fourth and that personal foul penalty is not going to help no in these types of situations players will tell you that's extra intensity from where we sit it's actually frustration not a good play So they're operating in the red zone. Following the penalty, Lynch, and he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks at the 12-yard line. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. The Raiders on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and ten. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Pushing through the contact. This is going to be incomplete. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. So on fourth down, off goes Carr, and on is Sebastian Janikowski. And Janikowski bangs it through. And that will extend their lead now up to 22. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can.
Now after the made field goal, here's Sebastian Janikowski to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Alex Smith and company heading back out there now. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. They complete it to Hill. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Fresh set of downs here. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Here's Smith now on second down. Escobar with it over the middle. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. First and 10, Smith throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for J.U. Chess in that time. That'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second and 10, Smith again. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The Chiefs on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. Here it's third and two. Again, Smith. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's got his man. It's Escobar. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. 
Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Smith throwing again. Catch here, left side, Thomas. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On first down, Smith. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Khalil Mack in there to get him for his second sack of the night. To throw on second down is Smith. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. Third and long, it's Smith. And he is out of bounds, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves. But they're also looking forward now. Because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Here's Cairo Santos now for the Chiefs' field goal. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. ready to take the field. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home, all right? And sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think about your routine stays the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game, and they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home field. And now the final stages. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Now Lynch, and for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. Will the defense dial up the pressure? Let's see, third and 11. No. 
And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Black Hole celebrates. The Raiders are winners here as we say so long from Oakland.